Hi Taurus, welcome. My name is Trina and this is TNT. Thank you for joining me today. All my readings are timeless, so no matter when you come across this message, there should be something in here for you. I'm doing things a little bit differently today. So this message is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. It is a collective reading for Taurus, so please take what resonates and leave the rest for someone who needs it. Anyway, let's get into it. We have abundance. Keep a positive mindset to manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Lovely. Ooh, pink moon, awakening. Very good. And lime, energy rush, irresponsible, and freshness. Okay. Hmm, interesting. As you're trying to manifest things here in your life, Taurus, I see that you have, I feel like you have a, a, an awakening, like a, an, a, an actual, you know, life-changing epiphany of some sort. It's going to give you a fresh look on life. It's going to give you, an ex it's going to be exhilarating. It's going to be something where you thought, you think to yourself, you know, wow, how did I not realize this sooner? What a wonderful idea. What a wonderful mindset to have. It is going to keep you positive. It's necessary for forward movement in your life. Okay. Um, what do we have abundance here for Taurus? What's going on with the abundance card for Taurus? The Ace of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah. So. This is, this is an idea where you've been working hard, trying to manifest great, you know, good things in your life, abundance. You have the right idea with the Ace of Swords here. You have worked really hard. You've put all of the right things in place. You've got the right idea. You have physically the, the things you need. And you're going into it with a compassionate outlook. You have compassion for yourself here. For when you make mistakes, for when you accomplish things, you're looking at it the right way emotionally. You're not being too hard on yourself, not being overly critical, but you're not slacking either. <laughs> okay, awakening. Why do we have the awakening card here for Taurus? Awakening? Why do we have the awakening card here for Taurus? <laughs> Chariot. The world. <laughs> wow. And the Five of Swords, okay. So because of your positive mindset, the Five of Swords here is not, I don't believe it's defeat like it normally is, especially with the world and the Chariot and the Awakening card here around it, the Knight of Cups, all of that. This is definitely a card where you're gonna pull out all the stops to get where you need to go, but not at the cost of anyone or anything. It's gonna be done the right way but you're gonna put in everything it takes to manifest what you're trying to manifest here because you've had an awakening. You can see more clearly now that of what, what's happening and what where you need to go with the chariot. You can see exactly where you need to go and you're like on a mission now <laughs> because it's, it's very clear. Okay, why do we have the lime card here for Taurus? What's up with the lime card for Taurus? What is the lime card for Taurus? Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, wow, very good. So you've got three aces here, Taurus. Well then, the High Priestess with that. This is uh, looking really, really good. This is good. Whatever your awakening that you're having here, it's going to lead to abundance in many areas of your life. It's going to lead to abundance in the physical area of your life, whether it be your physical being or money or wealth. Um, and it's going to lead to you finding your purpose as well. With the want the well, ace of wands and the high priestess you're going to find your purpose here if you haven't been living your purpose already you will be because you're going to have an awakening it's going to be like a aha moment you're going to say why why didn't i think of this before what have i been doing with my life you know okay 
Can we get some closing cards for Taurus here? Let's get a, close, a couple of closing cards. Some advice for Taurus on what to do with all of this here. Anything else we can tell Taurus about what to do? Okay, the Eight of Swords and the Three of Swords. Right. Okay, so this is going to possibly cause some pain to other people. It's going to, you're going to hesitate with all of this, it looks like, because it, it does involve maybe cutting some people out of your life that aren't benefiting you or telling people how it is. It, it, this experience is going to change you and not everybody's going to like that. So be prepared for for that. But it's it's all for the better because these are people you don't want in your life anyways. They're not benefiting you, obviously. If it if this process of you finding your purpose and having this awakening and realizing what's so much better for you causes people to be dropped out of your life or to exit out of your life, whether it's their choice or yours, you don't need them anyways. So just try and be prepared for, for that to happen during this process or after this process. Okay, well, there you have it, Taurus. Um, if you like this video, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. All of those things will help my channel grow. I appreciate all your support and have a wonderful day.